All right, I've only been able to find one video of this, and the guy was halfway th through the installation before he actually started explaining anything. So I'm going to hopefully do a better job. This is a 2012 Expedition. Apparently this goes up to at least a 2015. Some things you're going to have to remove is this tray to reach this 7 millimeter bolt. This bezel, bezel, which has four friction clips, one here, one here, one here, which are all broken on this one, and then one right in here. Now, honestly, I have a new one uh, to replace this. So we are not concerned about keeping this one. The next thing I've been, that it looks like we have to do is we have to pry these two pieces apart. I'm going to do that and be right back. Okay, as you can see, it's hard. It's not very difficult. There are clips up here, here, and here, and then there's a middle clip. So I took a just a flathead screwdriver and I worked the sides. Once they came loose, I slid it underneath and a gentle pry and it popped loose and then this piece here can be pivoted out and it should pop loose. And that's the same on both sides. There's also a T20 torque nut on each side. All right, this is going a whole lot faster than I figured. I know that you have to pry gently with some kind of flat edge along this side. And then I pulled the console a little bit to this, towards the driver's side because it got a little loose. And then it comes out. As you can see, there's only one, two clips on each side. And that's going to be the rough locations back here on the corners and just ahead of the shifters. I got to see what's next. All right, looks like the next thing is you have four clips, one on each side back here, and one on each side of the front. This one appears to be the pain in the butt to get to. So we're gonna see, cause the other two on the back have come loose. I know that if you have to pull this entire assembly out, there are four bolts, eight millimeter, that can come loose and I believe that actually allows the entire assembly to come up. I'm trying to avoid that. Okay, very important. Once you get these clips loose, and I did use a smaller Phillips head to get this one because there's not as much space here, is there is at least one to two electrical connections. You can see one here that goes into the console I'm guessing for the lights or to register where you're at. There's also one up here to this toe. If you have a manual switch up here, you're going to have three total connections. This should be a pretty easy clip to get loose, but because of space, I'm going to try it with a pick. I ended up coming in this side to get that loose. I know it's gone fuzzy and I'm going to need both hands but that's where you have to go so that was the connection up to the towing this one is going to be a similar one down to the con the connection we saw on the back of this uh, once again going to need both hands lot of extra work instead of trying to reach in and grab that there's a little plastic clip right there and these tools clip removal tools worth their weight just pry gently when you actually pull that off you get enough room to get in there Again, that is a small piece, so I used a pick. Let's 
Get it up. Now, that's the way the other one worked. <laughs> this one's just a little, a little tougher. Step I did miss is that once you disconnect the green wires on your shifter, and if there's two sets, remember to pull them, you can take the entire assembly off, which makes removing this with your busted piece easy. And now it is just simple reverse installation. Slide it in because as you see, it's got a tab there's only one way to do it keep this clear this extra one for your shifter the, I believe the smart thing here is going to be to move uh, reassemble it and then finagle that back in rather than trying to assemble it very important this is the part number you're looking for AL1Z7D443AB. You just plug that into Google, it will find you parts. I went between Tasca and getoemparts.com to find this. Turns out Tasca owns them both. All right, as you can see, we got the lock that back in. Just have to gently, because this is all plastic, and the last thing you want break any of this and have to wait two weeks for another part to come in. We're trying to line up the four clips. And because they were such a hassle off I want that front one on first all right we're almost there I'm glad I noticed this before I did a whole bunch of extra work the front clips are tabs the second the back part catches tabs so you can see right there is the slot that this clip clicks onto back here is the tab that these slide over okay I've got to remember to make a text note ahead of this but you want to put your shifter on and feed your wire back through and connect it before you clamp this down all right so i did it the smart way the second time which was make sure that you put your shifter back on the column before you lock this down because you have you need the slack to reconnect that and then you can push this tab in again i'm going to make notes of that and hopefully somebody avoids the same issue i had Okay, rather than force it, notice that there are small holes in this, which line it up with some tabs on top of the center console. So first things first, let's make sure that this will shift. All right, there we go. We're gonna tighten everything back down. For, to make things easier, I just lift this center console. Line up the tabs. I've already checked to make sure that the shifter works and the car will move. As you can 
tell. It doesn't take a whole lot of force to make that happen. And we have the center console with the seven millimeter. We've got the two Torx T20s. You clip your pieces back together on the sides of the sides of this and you put your bezel on. I did go with a new bezel. And this is the part number for the black one. There is a chrome option. And once that's all done, we're good to go. All right, as a reminder, these T20s are tiny. You may be better off putting on your bezel first, which I did not do, but I got lucky. I was also extremely aware that I did not want to go fishing this stuff back out of the center console or trying to find a replacement in the junkyard. So as you can see, two on the front, these two in the center, they are friction. They're held with friction. So if you are trying to get them loose, the tabs are in the center. That's where all the friction is. So you would want to come in from the top and pry out as you lift. Again, since I put in a new one, I just broke the old one. I've already reconnected these. As you can see, a couple of tabs, a couple of tab holes. repeat that on this side okay small problem I ran into while I was trying to reassemble it when I pried it loose this cover came over the lip it should not be it should completely cover this center piece if you don't you will have a gap you will not be happy with it all right and there we go it's all pressed back together bevels fixed the shifter no longer has a giant hole in it remember to put your tray back in these inserts may come out but there's only if they come out just slide them back in when you're done and that was a 2012 to a 2015 expedition replacing the shifter because replacing this piece is the only way to fix it. one of those is broken